Welcome to the Roblox Aviation Talk, and this is your host of the night, Eclipse Roblox. I know it's not the night time, it's like morning for some of y'all. If you live in British, it's like afternoon or something. But today we are collaborating with Atlantis Air, as expected, and welcome our guests, Treyop and Siovis. Yeah! Yeah! Well, basically. <laughs> <laughs> so don't worry, you guys, to the people, to the uh, spectator and the audience, we will have a question segment later for you guys, just for you guys to ask questions, like a QAA segment. So let's go oh, on with the talk show. So when did you guys found Atlantis here, actually? Bro, we supposed to know this. Uh, <laughs> <Did you> not? <laughs> basically, boom, we had this older airline called Berman, right? And then basically it didn't go that well. Yeah, uh, because huh? everyone had like, their exams and stuff. I'm about to put the blame and shoot for this one. And then, like yeah, we started, we started a seaplane airline. And then, yeah, boom, Atlantis, after like two months of development and staff work. I was talking with out. Treyop yeah. once, and then Treyop once said that he's not really that experienced in the Roblox aviation. He was like only joined. So like, what's your previous experience before Atlantis Air? as one of the well, highest. tell you, I've not, I've hardly ever been employed at any other airline as a low rank. I've only been... Uh, I'd say employed in a few if they're for my friend or I'm trying to help out temporarily. But I really don't have that much experience in aviation. Yeah, no, because I've I was had, like... I've had, because I've had Biman, yeah, yeah, people say in the chat, I've had Biman Bangladesh, but what I'm saying is I've not learned anything from other airlines like you would expect me to. You know yeah, what because I mean? you guys were like I've kind really... of just been the whole time. Like, because you guys were really professional and stuff, and I thought like some of you guys were like experienced in this since like the beginning with like all the ugly ass models and stuff like since that age but then like i was really confused when Treyop told me it's like oh i'm not experienced at all i was like what because like i barely have any experience myself and i cannot it's run up air atlantis <laughs> so was it like really like behind the scenes like i'm gonna insert a clip into the youtube video that i'll eventually edit that you sent me but like give oh, the no. audience what like a taste of was it behind the scenes since most of them have so never seen it <laughs> He's talking about so the video where you scream at you. Like, yeah, basically, I scream a lot. Like, on a scale of uh, 1 to 10, how professional are you guys? I like probably like a 2. Like a 2. Like, two. We, get, we, get, no, we, we get stuff done, but behind the scenes, uh, it's, it's a lot of jokes and Arab memes. Is Yeah. yeah. I'd say, <laughs> in, in terms of like how we present ourselves, it's very, very unprofessional. But the way we work, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, we get it's like kind of weird. Quite difficult like, jobs done. Like, if you look, we're like kind of laid back because we don't really see the point in making airlines so like serious professional and stuff. business. Like, yeah, it's like usually it comes out with like annoyed staff and staff that more see the airline as like homework and a job instead of having fun in the airline. We try to like push away from that. Yeah, because from like from an outsider's point of view, just like looking into it, like at first I thought you guys were like really professional having codes and stuff. But then once Trey Op sent me that clip and shit, I was like, oh damn! So this is how you guys are like, <laughs> like yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's there's two sides to yeah, what we do. Yeah, there's two sides. There's, I mean, like we are quite, like you know, we're kind of known for Arab memes and everything, Arab funny memes and all that. Um, we're we're not afraid to like show the public mm -hmm. that. You know what I mean? We want people to like realize that we're an airline that's like based fully out. Like you know, we we want everyone to have fun, staff or passenger. We're not gonna be yeah, like Seal said, we're not gonna give out homeworks and exams and interviews. It's literally just tryouts. We test you on your ability, and then yeah, you're in Atlantis. I feel like that's honestly a better way to do stuff because like sometimes you just play stress on like even though it's like a Roblox game for just like fans of Row Aviation. Like, why do you need to put so much stress? And that's, like, something I really agree with you guys. It's, like, it's not more of a work, but it's more of the fun side. Uh, you have better staff if mm -hmm. they actually enjoy the job. It's, like, staff that's like, actually motivated to work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. like, that's where we based our destination off. If you, we, we, like, want passengers to stay in the flight to be more anti. So oh yeah, like speaking of which, was like the original mean? idea of Atlantis Air the resort part or the like the aviation part? Because like from my thought, yeah, for, yeah, that because from my point of view, from what I seen, uh, like you guys put in like extra effort into that resort and stuff. 
Yeah. Well, basically, what we, we we thought in like you know like those basic discussions like what makes people stay in the flights in real life? It's the destination. Whenever you think of something, you're like, where are you going to go? But really, half the people are interested in the plane itself. Like you see the plane, cool. You hear the engine, cool. Yeah. Most of the time, you're kind of bored and you're waiting into the you're waiting for the destination. So like, what if we yeah. recreated that in Roblox where you're hyped to go to the destination, so to speak? That is like something oh, yeah. that I was like bothered with, like on larger major airlines like uh, Qatar or like Aqua or something. Like the flight in all is great, no offense and stuff. But like half the time, I find myself watching YouTube videos on the side and just to get to the destination, kind of be disappointed. But like Atlantis yeah. Air kind of like for like kind of fills that void, as I would say it, because like you actually look forward to where you're gonna land and you just don't get like yeeted out of the server after you guys land. <laughs> Yeah, Atlantis, yeah. we have this element of fun, this element of game, rather than just waiting around in a in a fake airplane, essentially, to a roleplay destination that's, like, got no meaning behind it. Okay. So that's what we've done with Atlantis. We had to change that, you know, with all the destination and stuff. And that's why our flights are short. Like, the flight itself is usually 20 Yeah, I was thinking of that. Minutes. Yeah, your flights are only, like, 20 minutes. And then I was like, the first time I was on the flight, I was kind of disappointed. I was like... Damn, this thing only 20 minutes is I don't have enough content right now. <laughs> and then yeah, the bus drive and stuff. We try mm -hmm. to make the whole scenery, you know, like cool bus drive and then cool like Ferris wheel and stuff to get you into the vibe. And then you go through the whole reception and stuff and it's like you're in a completely different place than where you started off. I think a lot of airlines are starting to like trying to be well I won't say copy, but like they're taking off inspiration at you off the moment because I I'm not gonna say who but I was doing like a couple of like flight reviews and stuff and like a lot of airlines been adding resorts and stuff to the end of their flights so I think that's really good that you guys are like like starting to make a yeah. change in the role aviation community even though it's just a little change it's still some change I think well I think a lot of new airline owners do they try to copy, <laughs> <laughs> they try to copy um, you know the people they look up to yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Like, they'll copy Le Monde, they'll copy whatever big airlines, and they're always the same. They're never different. They might have different airports, they might have different liveries, food, whatever, but they're always the same. So we, we've yeah. had to, like, think outside the box. Like, like, how I see an airline is, you have two aspects, the staffing development side, and I think people are taking too much care into the staff side instead of development side. Passengers don't really care if you have a dress code or like really organized roles mm -hmm. and like really organized like you know like staff side of things. Passengers really don't care past five minutes of looking at it. But like wow, that's organized, nice, but it doesn't really add on to the flight compared to if you make your development really nice and spaced and thought out. It's much better for the passenger side of things, which is I think people should start focus on development too instead of buying an airport for 15 dollars that you've already seen somewhere else yeah like a thousand times stuff. yeah yeah i feel like as a role aviation reviewer like that's kind of what disappoint me sometimes is that when i see a plane or i see an airport, I'm like oh yeah i exactly know where this is from or it's like yeah i've seen like like 20 other different airlines use the same crap over and over again it's like this is like the expectations and values of those airlines kind of drop for me so that's really nice and speaking yeah, of can... Oh, sorry. Go on. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of which, judging from your ideals and stuff, what's the future plan for Atlantis? Like, I want to um... speak on this. Well, basically, I want to turn Atlantis from an airline into more of like a travel group. So instead of just doing flights, you'll have like bus rides, yeah, mountain drives and stuff like that, and like skydiving, like bringing like other fun elements. So just airlining. It's like yeah. that's what we hope for it to be, and more like different countries with cool stuff to do like mountain like snowy mountains and so just being tropical they yeah. get all sort of vibes in there get like yeah, more pretty... scenery and stuff so everyone can enjoy even if they're not in row aviation yeah the, the thing is the only problem we have is that since we are have such small aircrafts can't really contain growing so we have mm -hmm. to stick oh so yeah noise a lot of people a lot of people are like yeah. your flights feel too fast add more planes then why don't you just bring in larger aircraft which is like the sort of things that atlantis has to suffer from so you yeah. guys are like kind of limited in a certain way when it comes to your group like it's just the way how you guys operate on like a smaller level i think uh, yeah i like just want to make things as fast as older possible. airline our older airline really never had passengers 
which is like why why Troop and me just didn't expect Atlantis to be big. Yeah, I we felt like expected. Yeah, I felt like that's what airlines I did, are like. I actually did later on when I started seeing some of the development coming out, I was like, I mean no one else is doing this. Surely, you know, we're gonna like this is gonna make an impact. You know, I that's what I expected and it did essentially happen. Um, you know, it's only been our first month and we've got, you know, pretty nice stats now. So, yeah. I have, like, I, so, like, advice to other, other people, you shouldn't, like, stress over a group so much. And, like, the amount of times mm -hmm. I stressed over the man so much, like, everyone did. Chub had this one error where he just didn't like anything to do with Roblox because he was so stressed over the work in the man. So, if you pay stuff out, you can get, like, an airline out done really fast. Like, two months, in comparison to other airlines out there, I'm not going to say their names. Two months is really nothing. Mm -hmm. Especially for a completely unique airline idea and different development. Yeah, like it's speaking like, of which, like I feel like airlines like either go in like two separate directions. They either want to be like a mass public flight, but that's like every other airline. Like I'm not gonna point out names or anything, but it's like right off the bat, you guys can already think of some. But it's like those massive public airlines that like do like massive flights, but it's like not really nothing special. Or like airlines like you guys, which go in the other direction but sacrifice the. Like the necessity to grow and like get like large public flights, but you guys focus more on the fun side of things. Yeah, that's the whole point yeah, of Atlantis. It, it also helps the anticipation. Like people want to come to our flights more, so they have to wait a bit longer if they can't get in, and that helps them. The airline makes people stay in the airline because you waited so long for the flight, you're gonna stay for the flight. Mm -hmm. if, that just adds on to helping the airline sometimes. Like our first flight was obviously like we had so much backlash from not allowing more than like 30 players yeah like that, that that was actually a thing i keep hearing like when you guys were doing like these private event flights for like youtubers and other things i wasn't part of it but i just like heard of you guys from like other youtubers and then like they keep yeah. saying like they keep asking why do you guys cap your servers to like 30 to 20 members and i was like do they really and i was like kind of confused and then on your first public flight that i was on like the first video i made about you guys like i was like everyone's like rushing to get in like everyone in general like even in my own discord servers like hey yo man the flight's all open hop on hop on <laughs> yeah um two things to that um yeah so about the youtube and the private youtube flights is that we wanted everyone you know to have atlantis in their head before you know any other seaplane came out so that when you know the word seaplane airline comes into people's heads the first thing they think of is it's atlantis there yeah and like then second second of all the the cap on the servers and um, that's simply there because of we can't fit that many people on a plane so there's always competition, you know, t to be the first 16, 17 people in the server, you know, so. But um, we do have plans in the future to change that. We've got our DC3 made by uh, C Sakai. It's going to hold more people. I think around 20. Hey. Shout out to uh, C Sakai. Yeah, he makes some more. fire beats, all right? Check him out on YouTube. I was listening to some of his beats. I just want to point out on the sideline, C Sakai on the beat. <laughs> <laughs> but. Yeah. Oh my god, I had something in my head that I was thinking about, but I like got lost at the Sisekai part. Hold up. <laughs> uh, By the way, we're gonna let the the passengers ask a few questions of their own. Yeah, all right. Yeah, so if you want to ask some questions, um, just ask in the general chat, and um, yeah. I'll point out some Can questions. I Should I duplicate general and make it questions? Well, that's gonna be very flippy. <laughs> Sanji like said, "Pay us." Yeah, see, you have to pay our staff. Uh, I will. I will. Okay. <laughs> pay us. A bit late. Can, I think can you guys type right. in question? Alright, let's check in questions. All of the questions. Uh... Does anyone have actual questions? Uh, in... I have an actual, like an actual question. That since no one's gonna so, ask this. Wait, wait, why you no? Know, okay, it's, it's somewhere similar along that. Why you no pay staff? Okay. I see you keep forgetting. I'm telling him to pay. I'm very lazy when it comes like, to Like, since the beginning? Like, four flights at once. Since the uh, beginning, yeah, just the beginning of this chat, the entire time I see people say, "Where's my pay?" It's like, "Why you no pay us right now?" Like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> this isn't a rioting session. Hold on. <laughs> I will pay. I will pay. I promise. I told Chuck to message me the list today. Okay. Atlantis I'm Air Free. Yeah, you did. Yes, you did. Fair enough. I want to see how much we actually owe. Like. 200, 400, I think. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 
11, 12, 120 100. Robux. We're 120 Robux to passengers. To passengers uh, alone. Passengers, we'll watch her, and then again, I don't pay the 5 Robux, and I just, I just, it's around the around. It's 20 Robux, 20 Robux 10. 20 for first, if, if it's a rock climb competition, if you don't guys know. Where? If you don't if already you know, know, we've got... <laughs> that's not Hazrat Euro. No, Euro, <laughs> that's not Hazrat. <laughs> that's not Hazrat. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. More of a question to you guys. Do you guys have any suggestions? Yeah, suggestions. I'll, I'll just quickly set that in. Hey, no one's really hey me make new livery, Haram. <laughs> oh, yeah. We are going to have emergency flights yeah, soon. Soon. New helicopter. I'll give you a. I'm excited it's for the helicopter go... part. I've seen you guys like post yeah. pictures of it, and it's really nice. And it's like animated. <laughs> But how much bread do you guys Impossible make? Fly. How much bread do you guys make like oh. a month, like Robux amount from Atlantis Air? Um, yeah. I'm yeah. the only one that's really kept up with the stats. I'll tell you now, briefly. Wait, it's, it's not it's not as that much compared to larger islands, but currently we're at. It's been one month. We have twelve thousand two hundred two Robux. All right, that's not bad. That's not bad because I was like, yeah. I was thinking about the amount of people that will buy premium class. After like the so many reviews on Roblox, like if you guys go on YouTube right now and search up Air Atlantis, I promise you, like there's at least three to five out of videos out of ten that keep saying Air Atlantis, the best Roblox, uh, the best airline on Roblox, or something along the title of that. And it's like, yeah, I mean, there's way more than three now. <laughs> yeah, no, there's like, like, uh, and like, I'll say there, there's like three to five in every ten. There's like somewhere around yeah. that range. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we and I, I never seen that. like such an airline would like get that much, like, positive feedback even though i'm pretty sure you guys yeah. still get some negative feedbacks but like most airlines like the term best airline on roblox i rarely used sometimes so then it was like pretty surprised yeah. when i went on youtube and i saw that i was like damn the one thing that new airline owners really need to do is they need to stop copying the people they look up to like or else this is why for so many years you just had the same motivation where it's like you go on a plane and you go to a destination. It's either there or it's not there. You know what I mean? And then we come around, we do something different. You know, and then it's considered the best Roblox airline. Even though, you know, like... You guys are we're way probably, smaller. We're, we're not out of this world. Like, yeah. Atlantis Air is good. It's very good. But it's not out of this world. There's, it's just different. Yeah, there's like room yeah. for improvement, but it's unique. And it's on the creative side. Which is, speaking yeah. of which, like... If you're... Back to what uh, Trey Apple was saying... Like, if you're going to start an airline just because you want to make some Robux or something, like I feel like if you want to start an airline, like, actually be motivated to do it. Don't just, like, half-ass and drop it just because you want to make some yeah. quick bucks. Like, if you're going to actually make the airline, like, actually put, like, a little bit of heart into it. I'll be honest. I didn't think I'd be back into Roviation ever again, ever since Biman ended. I was like, okay, PTSD. that's my Roviation, probably Roblox career over. And then COVID comes in, and I was like... Oh, you know what? I've, I've suddenly got all the time in the world now. What am I gonna do? And then Seal's like, "Oh, in the group chat, in the Bitman group chat, he's like, hey guys, let's you guys let's, want uh, start airline. Better. Lockdown is here. We are all bored. What do we do? <laughs> we were all like, very like, nah, we're never gonna be able to do it because we all know we were all like, you know, I wouldn't say traumatized, but we all know what happened from Bitman. You know, we tried to bring it back. We tried to, you know, have all these huge like new features. But we couldn't develop them, and you know, Sia was the only one that could develop at the time because every SHR had exams. Um, that's why it ended. I like but to hear we, that. We, you could... I was just saying. Now that. we're like all available, yeah. so we're like, yeah, okay, let's bring them back. But a new, a completely new, um, you know. Oh, uh, uh, someone asked it, any advice concept. for making airports? Yeah, you guys were kind of on that it? subject. Oh, uh, I think I, I give the best advice for making airports. I'm probably one of the best. <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, true. <laughs> It does not go on my top. Right, so, true. so basically, I would just say lighting and texturing. It's not like I see too many people say big airport, cool airport. That's evil. facts. Like larger Even airports, not... some of them are empty, all right? And it's like I just walk around and it's like, what's there to look at? Even if it's big, like it's grand and all, but is there really anything to do in here? Yeah. Yeah. The, so, like, you, you utilize textures and light. I, I give Atlantis probably some of the best lighting in all airlines. That's why it looks so cool and tropical. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. See, 10 out of 10 really thumbnail cool. pictures. <laughs> yeah. I'm to hire people. Wait, I'm you guys don't have any hire. merch? No. Well, um, um, we have, yeah, good question. We have plans of making tropical shirts and tropical shorts 
for passengers, like, you instead, know. So instead that... of it being like merch, shout out, it's more like generic tropical clothing. So people come to our flights wearing more like, you know, like tropical, tropical yeah. clothes. I'm going to cop myself at like... Alpha if you guys do and I'm going to show up. <laughs> Mm, yeah you like you know it's it's like the maldives you wouldn't come wearing a suit or like yeah, yeah, whatever yeah. people wear so you know that you'd wear in like t-shirts and poles whatever so yeah merch will be coming well merch in that type of sense will be coming soon so i'm um, trying to have a look at the message that started the seaplane thing i'm looking through the group chat it's in the old group chat so wait yeah, I, am, I, am, I am i am i am i'm i'm going to me building the airport hold up plan where the planes ever land on a runway Oh, yes. They'll, they'll take off, what? not not land. Oh yeah, they'll, um, take, they'll off, take off, but they won't. Off. Yeah, they won't. Land. Okay. What about providing mask and sanitizers? Air. That's actually something that I've seen a lot of airlines start doing. Like they, uh, everywhere inside the airport, they have these mask uh, meshes where you could take. So, uh, is, are you guys gonna right. like? That's a good idea. Um, probably. Might that's as well. A good just... idea. I don't think it's very needed though, because yeah, I was thinking it's quite it. almost over in most countries. Haha, ha, not in America. <laughs> I almost uh, not in the UK either. More. It's like no one will really care about masks and sanitizers in game, mostly as like a burden. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's more of like a side feature, I will say. Like, there's no point yeah. in having it, yeah. but it could just be there. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. Something I want to add to Atlantis is more stuff to actually do in the airport that's like physical instead of just looking. We wanted to introduce like a currency in the game so you could use the vending machine and stuff. You know what I mean? So like just staring at the vending machine, you could use it in like the resort. You can buy your own jet ski and stuff and like stuff saves across uh, airports. More of that, so to speak. Oh yeah, will premium get more benefits? This dude asked a good question at the top. Like what will, like if you buy premium, will there be more benefits to it in the future? Possibly. If you what have, benefits if you are there possibly? Yeah, if you have recommendations for benefits, because we really can't think yeah. of anything. Actually, every step premium go, they've got something different to eco. Yeah. TV is on baggage systems in some airlines. What do you mean, like? Uh, I don't think. Do they even have baggage systems? I don't. I I think baggage systems are cool as long as they don't utilize conveyor belts, because no one really cares about the conveyor belt working. Like, if it's like. Went through the check-in and then it had like a full-on conveyor system. Oh my recommendation so, for benefit. Well, Stein asked a good question. Can we get private cars? I'd say no, but people who are like very VIP, maybe in the future would give them like a private. Hey yo, you already you guys already got like private buses and like the premium bus. Like that's more like that's way better than just having a premium car. I'm gonna just say that out in my own opinion, but like I'll take that bus yeah. any day over the car, alright? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh my yeah, god, they're all talking like about Lemons. adding a strip club. Oh my god. <laughs> like I mean, we haven't removed the poles from the bus yet. Oh yeah, you right. I was thinking to death, but I like didn't want to no, include I'm it in my first sure. video. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Aaron, Aaron, he, he, he added them in first as a joke. But we forgot to remove them, and now they're just they're there for like the past few months. They're, Are meant, you sure? they're not meant to be there. Quote unquote <laughs> forgot, quote unquote forgot. Like, you sure it's like you guys didn't like plan to keep it there or something? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we didn't, but we're gonna keep it there now, cause we don't. It's quite funny. When I first saw it, I thought it was just something else. I was like, well, "Is it really though?" Until I kind of watched Dang's video for a bit, and I was like, "Damn!" I was kind of surprised. Yeah. But this is the image that started Atlantis Kakum. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, that's the first development post. <laughs> You can't even. Uh, I can't. Like, even though the whole airport stuff is done now, I still can't understand what what any of that blueprint would mean. How did you guys? Wait, wait, hold up. Like, how did you guys go from this to the final product? Wait a minute. Like, I don't. We didn't. We didn't. No, we didn't use it as a reference at all. I think Seal did, yes, but I don't did. understand. That's what I based. I based everything off that. And I'm the one oh my friend. god, you based everything <laughs> off that. <laughs> Yo, like, I can have, like, detailed blueprints, and I still wouldn't be able to make something like that. You guys just straight up made, like, a whole airport out of what looks like a shoe with water in the back. <laughs> what the hell? Nah, I'm not sure what's going on. I, there, I so. do want to add seatbelts, but the thing is, though, players are a bit fat, and you probably won't be able to see them. 
I like the system. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I, I like the system. You guys clicking on the seat to sit. Yeah, because it's such a pain, by the way. Because every time we're trying to board and we're late, you know, when um, you know, when the plane's like filled up and you're like the fifteenth passenger to sit, it's hard to find a seat, you know, because it's a really cramped plane. Cause it's a DHC six, obviously, and then sometimes they don't even know what click to sit is, and they think they think the plane's like overbooked because they're walking up and down the rows and they're not sitting down, so they think, oh, everyone's occupying a seat. I know. And that I, stuff really gets annoying, so you have to have patience with some passengers like that. I know. You know. Like, I mean, you guys had to deal with me like that before. Like, I remember on the first flight, I don't know if you guys remember, but I was like, one of the dudes was like, how do I sit down? And then, like, one of you guys, like, private yeah. message me. It's like, just click. And I felt, I never felt like a dumbass so before. I was like, damn, I spent, like, yeah. five minutes walking up and down the plane just to know that you <laughs> could click. We have we have yeah. stages of patience when it comes to click to sit. We first notify. We first like use N, you know, address the whole yeah, server and, and click to sit. Yeah, then it's notify. Time. Then alert, and then it's just kick. It's like okay. <laughs> like, man, at this point, respond. you just kind of waste everyone's time, you know. My, you have to be kicked. It's not like a punishment. It's just that you're holding us up, and you're not gonna. We just don't think you'll ever be able to sit. If you don't know what clicking means. I feel like <laughs> yeah, my patience in owning an airport will not be as high as you guys. Like if I say it one time, you don't apply. Like adios, man. Like you gotta go. And yeah, we understand. They're not trying to troll. They, they, they really it's do want to say you just can't. Is that kind of like me, or is that I really didn't understand? I was like one of the like the last two dudes just walking around, and I was like just confused. I was like, oh my god, where do I go? Can we have? Maybe we can once the currency system I was on about is in place. So instead of everyone getting free stuff, you have to like sort of like be in flights, and then you get stuff yeah. out of being into flights. So like like Miles. the jet ski idea. Yeah, you the credit buy, like, system. Jet ski skin and stuff. Yeah, credit system. So you have a purpose to come to more than one flight. I also mm -hmm. speaking of like handing out credits, like I like how you guys like most of the time. According, I don't know who who told me this, but one of you guys did. But like, you know the little rock climbing section you guys have at the end. Like, I really like yeah. how you guys give out robux and stuff. Like one of the server, like one of the dude in my server who never had robux before, and that was like one of his first time getting robux. Like, you guys really made his day, and I just want to point that out. I was like, damn, because it's like oh, talking who, to me. His name? Uh, you probably I, have his name on the register, and see, he still hasn't paid them out yet. No, no, he got paid out. He got paid like twenty five robux or something, and I was like really happy for him. It was like Aaron something. I was like, damn. Oh, Aaron Roblox. He's still he's still yet to get ten robux. He's on the staff register. I'm sorry, I'm okay. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'll pay. I'll pay. I'll pay. I'll pay. I'll pay. He's on the call. He'll never know. And you, no, and you change this to the premium lounge. Uh, probably not. We don't want it to be overdone. I mean, it's nice enough. Like, <laughs> speaking yeah. for yeah, myself, I, I don't want it to be like. Extreme like Etihad type lounge in like the middle of the Maldives, it just doesn't look realistic and more of like an outdoor lounge type of thing. Oh, um, Cyan Aviation again, he asked a good question. He said, What does it take to become a staff? Right, it's quite of a jump. You want to show his answer? Right, go on. Okay, um, yeah, we don't hire, uh, we don't hire publicly. Um, the only way you can get hired is if, um, we handpick you, so hand you have to know one of us personally, one of the higher ranks or the lower ranks now, um, to to get into the airline. Um, basically, we just don't want you know having to go through all applications and tryouts. You know, that's just pain to do. So we try to keep it a minimum, and we're like, all right, guys. No, I announced this in staff announcements last week. We're like, all right, if you guys have any friends that wants to join the airline, and you know that they're good, they're they, they do they can do training, that you know they're active and you know respectable and all. Um, just ask them to DM me and a head of department, and they'll get into the airline. Simple as that. Some people may think that's annoying, but I also think that applications are quite useless. It's like how good you are at English, not how good you are in a flight. And I feel like some people just lie on that, like on the application section where it says how much experience you have or something. Like I worked at a couple airlines myself, and like half the time when I look at an application, it's like overqualified. I already know it's like bull crap or something. I'm like, nah, there's no way you did all of this at like five different airlines. It was like, yeah, yeah. there's I no. Like it when I feel like it's like really I easy to lie and deceive for applications. It's like how are you really gonna know until the training and tryouts? Is it like really? And it just like ends up wasting yeah. your time. So I kind of agree with that. Yeah, we. There's never anything on paper that the staff have to do. It's always just training trials and practical work. It's always practical yeah, it's, work. It's like one long training, like one hour or two hours. Depends how long it takes. And after that, it's just... You, can go, you just need one test flight. 
uh, so to prove if you can actually work in a fight, and then from there you can just work on fights. So that's pretty much it. We, we um, want staff yeah. to know at least what another staff, so they can have like, you know, like a bit of fun in fights instead of feeling left out. You know, like some Axel here is like uh, Muslim pigeon and stuff. Like what? Shark. One of your high ranks. Some Axel, some character in flights. I just want to say something, but like one of your high ranks said, like, uh, what's it called? Pinged you and say, Trey up. Don't forget to mention we aren't strict on staff either. Is that true? Yeah, Gamer <laughs> HD, my brother. I like kind of say this sarcastically. <laughs> Atlantis here is dancing like Yeah, we're definitely not there. Straight. No, I'll be honest, there is a breaking point. I've got a small break, you know, like you of can course, joke like, around, yeah. you can mess around. Uh, every there, one of us there's has a, a point where you point. have You know, there's a point where you actually have to like, you know, stop annoying mm -hmm. us, you know what I mean? Samax, I think Samax is only the only the person the only person that's probably experienced this, but you know, you can mess around and all, but there's a point where you have to actually do the mm -hmm. work and stop annoying hidden us. <clears throat> hidden script. And yeah, and hidden script. Yeah. Sorry Eden, but I love you though. Okay. <laughs> uh, everyone has a breaking point. Like, there's no way you could just like keep like. I kind of get it too. Like, at some other airlines I was working at, they're like, "Hey, yo!" Like, they keep asking you the same things over and over again, and then at one point you just have to flat out just say, "All right, listen up, like, come here." So like, I kind of yeah. understand. Like, you, like you could yeah. try to be nice as much as possible, but at one point you have to show it and be like, "All right, like, like play time's over. Like, just listen up for a bit." I don't really. Well, we've like been here for thirty stuff. minutes. Right. Stuff, yeah, we've been here, yo. Thirty minutes, yeah. Aviator Jack was right. This this doesn't feel like thirty minutes, but it's already been thirty minutes. And that was like the. Do you guys want to keep going, or do you guys just like want to end it in a bit? I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. But your Does video's gonna be really long. Don't worry. see questions. the power of editing. All right. <laughs> this is pretty much a podcast now, yeah. rather than yeah. a video. And this podcast, will imagine. <laughs> I'm not a customer. Yeah. Suggestions. Weekly podcast. Um, no, you know, like in, you know, like an in, in studio, like uh, you, throw, you know, inside the aircraft. Imagine having a little speaker that just reads out a, a weekly podcast. I don't know from like mm. anything. Those audios are allowed. Someone said I need this. I ran out of content. Content. I, we need podcast. Anyone have any questions? Can yeah, we have voice air traffic control? That's actually... Oh, oh, yo, okay, yo, 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 answer I've that. I've had answer, that suggestion right? before. I was like, so you know, one... Please answer your open public VC idea. <laughs> I was like, I was, I was really trying to get CEO to come on one day. Like, we need to, we should do a, we should do a, um, a voice chat with ATC one day. And I really wanted um, CEO to be an AM that day. You know what I mean? Like, so I wanted, like, passion to have a little background of what we're like. <laughs> And you know, CEO being the personality, he is just shouting. Oh. You know, I, I want to get <laughs> that in. Do, yo, do you guys want well, like? Do you guys mind like us showing the public like the clip that you sent me? Cause like, did you show? Yeah, me? yeah. Okay, okay. Know, okay I like, yeah, I don't like, I feel like care. half of these people don't understand what I'm like. What we're saying when we're talking about screaming in the background and like the okay, hold up. I need to find it. Give can me I a just second. can I just have a little footnote to that video? By the way, yeah. We don't actually scream like that all the time at pilots. We did that one time. So that video was taken really, really early. This is before. This is like weeks. Like a few, one or two weeks before. Disclaimer. Yeah, no, we did real no, I'm, I'm like the only staff that screams. Yeah. Disclaimer. The, no, you no, did this on purpose. He, he was trying to. He was about to fly in and collide he, with the other plane. Trying to, no, because <laughs> I didn't see it. I just saw like them trying to collide into each other, but Euro's purposely like trying to scare me instead of. Moving Euro, up, Euro. Yeah. 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 Just... It was getting really stress. It was getting really stressful because um. I was trying to, I had to go, like, emergency had to go, and I was trying to land as quickly as possible, so then I bet Sio, and me and Sio were already pretty stressed. Oh, uh, I can't And then Euro up. comes in, and he's about to collide with us in midair, and we're like, yeah, obviously we'd be like, Euro, for Euro! There's like can't. soccer, what's his name? What's the guy's name? Soccer fan, what's his name? All right, I'll, I'll post yeah, it in yeah, media it. for everyone to see, and currently tuning into the podcast, allow to watch this masterpiece, all right? So this is the kind of an inside <laughs> joke we were talking about. Like in one of my videos, like since you guys use multiple planes on like normal flights, I was like kind of wondering like what's the communication behind? And like you guys kind of showed me in this video. I hope everyone's watching this right now. Mm. Disclaimer notice, I mean, like 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 Trey Ops said, this isn't always them because it's just... Um, <laughs> disclaimer no, no, we're, we're not mean to our staff. You can ask well, anyone of them. I have uh, a question. Do do? Like, anyone got suggestions for destinations? Because like, we've already done a fun fair, like a tropical country. That's like... I feel like I should go to like a snowy place. Like, 
like kind of a winter Arctic feeling. I don't know. I've never seen an airline. Yeah, that's what Theo had in mind. Like, he was gonna. Yeah. He said he'd make a. He said you make yeah, a winter. I've right. seen like people go to really Asia, yeah. India, and like the hot places, but I never seen like an airline go anywhere cold or stuff, or like somewhere to like yes. the Arctic or something, or like Alaska. That would like be really cool neat. Making, like mountain, like actual like mm -hmm. mountain hiking tools, making like a proper mountain rest. Ski trips and everything. Like, that would be like really amazing. Yeah, that would be cool. Actually, if you guys do, them. if you guys do, DM me like you know, like use me as like a test or something, because I just want to go there first and like see everything for myself. <laughs> Yeah, well, we will probably let YouTubers do a YouTuber only flight before. Listen, listen. I wanted submarine tours. Have you ever seen submarine tours? <laughs> yeah. So, like, we, that's like, what. Yeah. We had this plan originally at the very start. We were like, what event should we do? Rock climb? Should we do jet ski? Should we do submarine? And then, or like a one of those like like deep sea dip thing, uh, diving we things. We wanted a time near them, so we yeah. just went with the easiest idea, which is rock climbing. <laughs> rock climb, yeah. <laughs> but then soon Ferris will came in, uh, and yeah. which was nice. And then we just we just quickly made bumper cars. It's not really worked that well, but good enough. And then fly over with Sisekai's idea and just tops it off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe right. maybe we can have like a snowy mountain. That sounds pretty cool. I'd I'd make that. Like the like that's the top idea. Like I've never seen an airline does that do that. So I was like, kinda... well, we're... yeah. What we're working on right now is that we're trying to reduce the amount of staff we do per flight so that we can increase wages and, you know, we don't have to allocate as much staff anymore. Yeah. Um, we're trying to own. get, um, like, a sort of NPC check-in type stuff. Oh, so, like, not self-check-in, not like, you know, like... Yeah, like it's, not, it's not like the machine person. dinghy, but it's like yeah, a you're bot. You're talking to a bot, yeah, like, like, it's meant to be a real person, yeah. So that type of stuff. I seen like um, a cut like I seen like a couple of airlines though that oh my god I can't remember which airline it is but I like kind of see that where like they have like 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 you said it's not completely self check in, but it's like it's a bot meant to replicate like a real person standing yeah. there. Yeah, but we we want to be Atlantis of course. We want to try like put more detail in than normal and make him animate type on a keyboard and print out tickets. Start of flights I think we had sixteen to eighteen people staff for two acre flights now we have like nine to eleven around uh, like it 10. was it was 13 no 13 14 ish yeah it's 15 yeah all right you yeah, hear that here he wasn't mm. yeah i was like yeah. it's to the people complaining about pay like you guys are probably gonna get a pay raise in the future if they keep like what's it called they actually, yeah. they actually yeah. will <laughs> I actually really want to make that snow idea now, Tro. Get your ass on making the skis, thanks, with your trope scripting. <laughs> Yo, building sessions are, like, one of the most stressful things ever. For, like, especially for airlines, you have to, like, keep testing it over and over again. It's like, bro, like, each time you find something that goes wrong, you just have to go back. But our small tests for the, like, drives and stuff. Bro, do you remember all that? When we, like, when we really hated how the island looked at start. But then yeah. trees started coming. Oh my in. god, you made me do all the dirty work for that city. It took me two hours to copy and paste and make the roads and everything. Someone has to do it. Someone has to do it. Yeah, someone had to do it. Um, I guess it was me because I'm the though. least skilled, and everyone else, like, so you had to start to make the plane and everything. And I thought to make the aircraft. I made the aircraft on the side, though, pretty well. I just never spoke about it. I think See, Aaron was still working out the entire Someone has the to do the fun stuff, and someone else has to do, like, the background stuff and just like somewhere in the back just like copy and paste all those buildings because like the city was pretty big like the bus ride itself was like pretty long and i was like damn who made yeah. this busy we don't because we we re that was gonna be the only thing like the only event would be the bus drive then i was like that kind of ruins the point of the destination again like, you've seen other airlines their only event is pretty much the bus drive yeah, and then they go to like a, sh a shitty Rome or a shitty like Paris or <laughs> fake Eiffel Tower. And there's like one hotel in the middle of nowhere and there's no other buildings. It's just, Yo, there's just that... literally an Eiffel Tower and a hotel. So what was the point of spending like 20 minutes dragging my ass out here? Like there's nothing for me to do. Yes, please, airlines, make your stuff fit into the surroundings. There's so many airlines that just have like... Random sh stuff random in the background. Resort and house just in the middle of nowhere that just don't fit in with the rest of the place. So, you know, which, like, the background scenery, I'm just going to say fly kudos, though. I'm not, 
Fu- I'm not sponsored by them. I don't work with them. I'm not affiliated with them. But I just want to say that Fly Kudos, like, background scenery is, like, top tier, all right? Speak, since we're on the subject, yeah. I just want to point that out. <laughs> nice. Yeah, th- th- they're pretty good. I just like mm-hmm. the, their Egypt location, the pyramids, and the hotels. Like, that kind of blew me away. Premium will get. Uh, do you have any suggestions, Sian? Because I don't really know what premium They keep get. saying no, strip club. <laughs> This Q&A was quite fun. I'd probably, I'd probably like to make this a monthly thing, to be honest. But different, not just Q&A. Yeah, I could do things in the Oh future. my god, why is there an 80 20 here? Huh? What? what? <laughs> Euro. <laughs> I just come into the airport and I see an 80 20 just crash into the airport. I see you too. <laughs> Hold up. Hey, anyone else got questions? Yeah, if there's no questions, I'm going to just end this. Like, it was honestly fun. Like... I low key thought I'll be like running out of things to say and stuff halfway through, but this was like actually pretty fun to do. Yeah, there's always link outs. This is what you talk about one thing and then leads to another question in your head. Questions, yeah. hold up. <laughs> hey man, don't forget we endorse Bangladesh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah That's where this all started. This all started from Bin Man. Um, no. He's make your airline. The Bin Man. <laughs> People come in with it. Like, so you guys have like no like in between projects between Binman and like Air Lens. It's just like a straight massive jump of improvement. There's like I nothing. In you between. did. I didn't. All I right. pretty much I dipped for, after I 2018. For right now, which is not Atlantis. I guess surprisingly, Atlantis isn't my main group. I hadn't been interested in Dev. I like looking at Dev, but I never had interest in Dev really before. I do have now kind of when it comes to scripting. I was like, might as well learn a bit of coding. And I guess I tried Mesh as well. But quite and a lot of that really senior high ranks from Vermont actually got like a decent like yeah. place in WAV. Like look at Aaron, yeah. he's made like Land Veteran and all like popular airports. But like JTEC, you got like Nerva. Yeah. You know, all them. People don't know that JTEC uh, originated from. He. It's quite funny because um, he he went from like caught, caught, you know using J Johan Jahan whoever Johan's tutorials on how to make self check and. And then a few months later, he's now he's like one of his biggest competitors. That's like, you know, that's quite big if you think about it. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's kind of unexpected. I would say that. I'm not trying to be mean or something, but it's like, I would just say it's kind of like unexpected for like airlines to make such mas- like massive improvement or like individuals to go that far after like ditching something. Mm, yeah. Mean, yeah, I remember ditching, but it's probably one of the hardest in troops. Probably because troops like childhood bases around that. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, they say Work we need fireworks. Oh, guys, big up our old destination. If anyone remembers Berman destination, check it for all. We had fireworks there. Oh, do you remember? Our old destination. You never actually got to go there. We had fireworks there before. I remember this. Oh yeah, but the the till wasn't massless, so. <laughs> You ended up flinging across. Swish Alps. <laughs> that, that that's actually a good destination. I was thinking of that. I'll, I'll look. What's that in the photo? <laughs> Do you remember the destination we had in Berman? Uh the tropical island. Yeah. Uh, it's like a mountain. Yeah, right. big props had- to that by the way. I don't think our our main inspiration yeah, for you know like we want yeah. this is what like inspired us because we saw so many Hold people on, happy see. that we had a nice destination. We saw. Yeah. yeah, I was quite upset. I didn't get to experience that resort flight. I was in Bangladesh at the time, literally, quite coincidentally. Um, but yeah, I never really got to see the peak of my airline, which I, I was quite sad, saddened by. And then when I came back, we we just plummeted. Really, you know, everyone went back, like everyone in Rovation basically just went back to school. Nobody was going active, and then the the few active staff we did have, yeah, um, you know, we tried releasing an airport called. Leeds Bradford, and then there was a flight. It was a good airport, but the our systems went weren't in place. Everything oh, was unreliable. That just broke our motivation so much. That yeah, yeah. So the flight was so Ooh. bad. We were like, we're not. We can't step into aviation ever again. We we took off and landed, but the landing was so scuffed because everyone dropped in their tools. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, that was the flight before the really bad one. That flight I was still happy with. Yeah. Are we? I was happy with it. Like I remember the hype when we actually landed. Like speaking, we still, 
speaking of like Treyoff saying like he wasn't there to see the airline, like okay, like Eric has like a funny aka Houston Gus, he has like a funny thing to do, but like he never even though he's the one who showed me you guys because he's like really hyped for your airline, he actually never attended one of your flights because like the only t- like the only two times where he had a chance to actually attend your flight, he had to go somewhere. And I was like, damn, like rest in peace. Like he keeps like talking to me every day in DMs. He's like, Hey yo, you have a flight for air Al- Atlantis Air and he's like, Hey yo, can I come and stuff? But then w- whenever I schedule a date or something where whenever you guys have a date like it just never matches up with him so he has been like trying to get a flight for you guys for like uh, at least a month but he never been on a flight <laughs> yeah kind of feels bad for him yeah there is a setting panels on the left if no one's seen there's like a setting icon which no one really uses yeah yeah see a lot of reviewers on our flights this is what um i mean no disrespect to dang but Dang missed out a lot of like parts I really wanted him to use and like see yeah, within Atlantis. Like he, either. yeah, we should have told him to be honest. Like he didn't see any of the the staff panel stuff, the settings and the you know the yeah, the, the, the robot. Like, we have this setting where you can scroll in. So if you scroll in, your FOV also scrolls in. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. like a lot of people are a lot of people are questioning why don't we have an FOV slider? There's a setting, but you, if you scroll with your mouse or your tablet or whatever. Your, your FOV also scrolls in with it, and there's like music offer on, and like, oh, yeah, I kind of saw that. Yeah, that's, that's like the main controls. I don't really know. Hey, Jack, um, Jack, you can screen share because there's some crazy stuff going on in Kakum. We're flying 8020s on the water. What, wait, if you guys want to see, hold what on. Are you doing? <laughs> I think we're pretty much done then if no one else has got questions. Yeah, if, if there's like no one else got questions or suggestions or just like any remarks, I guess it's like, so, oh my, it's always been Sai in this entire time. <laughs> he, I mean, yeah. he, I mean, he does give some like good questions about like the cars and stuff. So someone say, can this we have a beach? Much, yeah. We do have a, we do, uh, well, yeah, All we right. could probably open up like a beach because, you know, our resort is like the seaside. Mm-hmm. Probably had some sand there, but, um, well. NPC checking should speed up. Checking speed, it just depends how fast the people are on using it. I don't really like the customer service. Yeah, I feel like that's a thing. Like, check-in shouldn't be blamed on the staff because some people type really slow. I experienced that a lot. Like, like one dude could drag up the line by, like, up like two to one minute just by standing there and saying nothing. So, like, sometimes it's not the staff's fault. Other times it's, like, more like the passenger side where they're, like, kind of slow and crap. I hope people notice the motion lock on the planes. Like when the plane turns, your camera also turns. Yeah. They say we better did. music. <laughs> we got to refine a lot of small details into Atlantis. Um, you know, like the start, the the camera lock, the motion lock. Um, you know, the little mouse icon. People do it. notice it, but they don't give enough attention. You know, we even picked out like a specified soundtrack for Atlantis using Asbo beats to sit the vibe instead of just blating out. You know, whatever comes up first in the library of audios. Vibe. <laughs> yeah, it's really the small things that, that make makes it count. Yeah, yeah, the little small things they make up the foundations for the big things. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, what like, makes you... like it may not be like the main priority, but it's like it adds up to it. Like by the end of the day, yeah. if you add it all up, it makes it really impressive. Like it's not gonna be impressive by itself, but then when you all add it up, it's like it's, it's like the yeah. wow factor. Yeah, it's been an hour. This is probably gonna yeah, be. Yeah, this is probably gonna be it. You. I like, I drank. I ran through like two bottles of water already. Like my mouth's dry, no homo, but I've like ran through two bottles of water already. <laughs> so I guess you know this is. Funny? Every flight, I always eat something. There's never been a flight Yo! where I haven't. Oh, exactly. Yeah. I'll open up YouTube on the side, like bring some chips and stuffing or like juice, yeah. and I just like sit on the side and just eat and wait. <laughs> you guys want some ASMR? I've got food in front of me right now, right? Let's go. Right. Alright, I'm gonna have to disconnect them. <laughs> Alright, I will. Everyone, I hope that everyone's questions at least. Nah, I, mean, I think I've scared everyone now. Yeah, I guess mm. it's like, I'm gonna end this now short because. Like editing this is gonna be like take me like a couple 
hot seconds, but thank you guys for tuning in to this podcast slash show. I'll probably do more of this in the future. Hey, 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 just like that man said, sub to me, all right? You know, self-promotion, very important. So do you guys have any last words? I don't have anything to say. (laughs) Self-promotions are allowed, all right? (laughs) Nothing. (laughs) Bye, premium. (laughs) Bye, premium. (laughs) (laughs) Try near Atlantis. Oh, sub the air lenses. Oh, yeah, you guys do. Wait, have we a have a YouTube channel. channel. I know, I saw that. I'll post a link for questions right now. All right, so I'll, I'll just save that link somewhere in my description. But thank you guys for tuning in. I uh, hope to see you guys next time on my channel. This is Eclipse Roblox. See you guys next time. All right. Yeah. Basically, Boom. that's it done. Boom.